Hey gang, it's me, your Uncle Todd here, and I am uh, at the theater as usual, and I want to see the black phone. So, here's hoping it's a good flick. Uh, looking forward to it. Ethan Hawke is usually good when he plays a villain. So, see you after the movie. Wow, that was quite the um, thriller. Ethan Hawke was scary. I'm not sure if he was supposed to have multiple personalities or not, but man, what a performance. At times scary, at times silly, sarcastic, and pathetic in some moments. Uh, oh, great score. Really gets under your skin in some scenes. Uh, basic plot is that Ethan Hawke is a serial killer. He kidnaps young boys, uh, just hitting teen to uh, mid-teens, plays uh, sadistic games with them before he kills them. And the latest uh, abduction, Finn, is getting these phone calls on a phone that doesn't work. It's the previous victims, and they're all giving him advice on things they tried to do to escape, and he tries to do them to escape too. And it all culminates in a master plan at the end for him to do a final attempt. Meanwhile, his sister, uh, his younger sister, uh, has the ability to dream cognitive dream. Well, I've psychic dreams where she can see events that have happened or will happen and she's trying to use this ability to find her brother and her father doesn't want her to he, he's rather abusive uh, because their mother had had the same ability and she killed herself and so he is basically trying to beat it out of her to not do that he's an alcoholic probably stemming from the suicide. And uh, it's very bloody. As you, when you see Finn talking to the, the past victims, they are, you see them in their dead form talking to him. He doesn't see them, he only hears them. And it's, uh, and it's a horror film that has a rather upbeat ending at the end, in horror film terms. And uh, no jump scare at the end, you know, where the killer comes back. <gasps> None of that. It's just, it's a very well-made psychological thriller. Uh, along the lines of, uh, you know, like uh, Die, Die, My Darling, where someone is kept prisoner and eventually they will be killed. And you know that. Uh, it's set in the 70s, and there's some great throwbacks. Uh, one part where the Finn and his friend are talking about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which the friend has seen, but Finn has not, because mm, his dad's not going to take him to see that. And uh, there's a great moment where uh, Finn is staying up late on a Friday watching what is basically chiller theater, uh, where they're showing The Tingler. And it is the scene uh, where the mute woman is uh, being scared to death by her husband. And you see Finn almost yell out, but he stops himself because he doesn't want to wake up his dad and get beaten. And uh, I like that as a great throwback to when I was a kid watching uh, late night horror movies on Friday nights. And the, uh, the score is, of course, peppered throughout with a great... 70s classics so that uh, that that fit the uh scenes like sweets foxes on the run and uh, there's a pink floyd song i think i cannot remember the name i think it says days go by it's an instrumental or no it's from dark of the moon that's right dark it's from dark of the moon i can't remember the title though but it's an instrumental and uh, all in all highly recommend it it's a really good thriller 
and um, uh, it probably is a little scarier because it always is when kids are uh, in danger. And uh, if there was any pedophilia implications in it, they were very much below the surface because um, you never get to see anything like that. There is mention made of it between captor and captive, but uh, nothing ever comes of it. And the, uh, the villain never comes right out and says he's going to. But you kind of guess he might. It just... Uh, but that is like below the surface and you're not really going to see anything because it's more about the suspense and just the growing sense of impending doom. Well, that's all I've got to say for this one. But I give it... Uh, thumbs up four stars and all that stuff uh, please hit like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time at the theater